Welcome to the Grand Prix of Portugal in Valpassos, round six of the 2023 Polo Duarte FIM and Giro GP World Championship. In conjunction with the FIM's Ride Green and Keep It Shiny and Sustainable programs, the Enduro GP riders and organizers team up with local children and officials to raise environmental awareness and plant the future in Valpassos. In round five at the GP of Slovakia, suffering from injuries, Brad Freeman retires early and Joseph Garcia struggles to stay in the points. However, reigning champ Andrea Verona and Steve Holcomb have their best events of the season, swapping first and second places on the weekend. Arriving in Portugal, Holcomb has a 13 point lead over Freeman with reigning EGP champ Verona and Garcia still in the title race too. Yeah, I'm feeling ready. Uh, happy to be in the Enduro GP paddock again after a few months off. Tests are re looking really good. I like a lot this kind of racing. The season for me was, was pretty good. Um, and even in the, the two month break, I had some races at home that, that I could do and kind of kept myself busy. Um, yeah, generally feeling good. And yeah, last month has been a little bit tough after the crash in Sweden. I was three weeks uh, suffering quite a lot. and. I went to race in Slovakia to, to save some points in Enduro GP. I didn't expect even to finish the race, so I surprised myself there because that race was probably the hardest race of the season. After a two month summer break, it's a two weekend Portuguese Grand Prix double header that will decide this year's Enduro GP champions. Hi everyone, I'm Bruno Crivelin from Brazil, the only Enduro GP rider who speaks the local language Portuguese. Welcome to the last two rounds of the World Championship here in Portugal. It's Friday afternoon and everyone is gearing up for the Akrapovic Super Test, set to kick off the sixth round in a few hours time. But before the racing gets underway, the Enduro GP riders get the festivities started with a parade to the town hall for the opening ceremony and to hear a few words of encouragement from the mayor of Valpassos. And now it's time to race. The organizers from the Usprigosus Grupo TT Villarandero have put together a fast, challenging, and spectacular track that is equally as pleasing for the riders as it is for the local Enduro GP fans that have come to enjoy the super test action here in Valpassus on Friday night.
Andrea Verona is a second and a half off the winning pace, taking third in the first test of the weekend. Zach Pichon is barely six tenths of a second from the win, but is happy to settle for second place on the evening. Looking fully rejuvenated after the summer break, Joseph Garcia roars into first place with a time of 128.17, setting the stage for what's to come out on the track over the course of the weekend. Start like this at GP is so good. I know that it's not the race. The race will be tomorrow, but it's always good. Start to feeling good on riding the super test, so can't wait for tomorrow. Hello guys, after a long summer break, we are here in Portugal again for the before last round of the 2023 season. We are in Valpasso, Portugal. Let's come to the track preview. The Polysport Extreme Test is the first special test of the day. Riders need almost 30 minutes after the start to arrive here and for sure their arms are going to be warmed by a few technical sections. This test is fantastic. It's a typical style of the north of Portugal. Huge rocks with a lot of grip and tight passages. After another half hour of rocks, rider will face the just one enduro test, around the nine minutes of fast passages between the trees and tight corners that break the rhythm. A demanding test because the intensity of the corners give no break. The last test of the day is going to be the Acerbis cross test. Many jumps in a motocross track and sliding corners on the field beside it. It's very funny to ride. With a hard packed ground so dry it can be easy to make a mistake. So here we are, this is the GP of Portugal, typical Portuguese ground, physical race, nice weather for all the weekend. See you on Saturday on the first special day. You know, took some time off during the summer, really needed it and just excited to be back and um, try and give them a hard weekend. Yeah, generally, I mean, the points are what they are. You know, my plan is to come here and, and try and do the best that I can. You know, if I win, that's great. If not, then 
well, yeah, have a good next year. For sure, it will be a big fight in the next few days. I'm even more excited <laughs> to, to be into the fight, you know. Let's go full gas. The weather and course conditions are perfect, and the riding on this quick yet demanding track is competitive. But Garcia and Verona are the fastest out of the gate and the early favorites. Holcomb claws back precious seconds on the leaders throughout the morning, while Freeman's form is obviously affected by the last two months spent convalescing from serious brain bruising caused by crashes in the three previous rounds. Yeah, uh, happy to to stay there on the battle after last months. So enjoying and fighting till the end. After almost seven hours on the dusty, hard-packed terrain under the scorching Portuguese sun, only five seconds separate the top three riders as they roar off for one final high-flying lap around the Acerbis cross test. With a blazing fourth place finish, reigning junior world champion Zach Pichon finally shows the form he gave us a glimpse of in the season's first stage in Italy. Steve Holcomb has one more test win than Verona, but comes up short where it counts in third place, 2.21 seconds behind his Italian rival. Andrea Verona wins three tests, but still finishes second, 6.37 seconds off the winning pace. Joseph Garcia posts the fastest time in four specials, and crucially in the final of service cross test to secure his third stage victory of the season. Here's the final results tally from stage one of the Grand Prix of Portugal in Valpassos. Now let's take a closer look at the performances of today's Enduro GP Top 10 out on the track. Come on.
The only way to, to fight till the end uh, is winning. First race that I've been a father, win. So I think this gives me extra, extra motivation and an extra push till the end. So yeah, it's, it's so good, yeah. First place, Joseph Garcia, Japanese In a Giro Open World Cup racing, most of the category's top riders are present and accounted for in Valpassage. But there are a few notable no-shows and misfires amongst the class favorites. At the end of the weekend, Haddock and Marshall still lead the two-stroke and four-stroke standings, but Muller overtakes Bellotti in the senior class. After a sweaty day in the sun, on Saturday night, things heat up even more in the streets of Valpassage. After a hard-hitting first stage, the riders are prepared for more of the same and pick up where they left off, straight out of the start gate on day two. The leading men, Holcomb, Verona, and Garcia, quickly open a healthy gap between themselves and the rest of the pack, with a slight advantage to the Brit, who stays just a few seconds out front as he trades test wins with the Spaniard and the Italian. The race for the last two spots in the EGP top five is a mixed bag that includes Freeman, Pearson, Pichon, Milner, McDonald, and Watson over the course of 11 grueling special tests. Almost in the last, no, we are in the last lap, so I need to make a good extreme and then the other tests I feel good, so push and try to, to recover that small gap and try to be at home. The last lap and a half is a nail biter. After a major error, Verona injures his hand and loses contact with the two leaders. After the second to last a service cross test, Garcia takes the lead from Holcomb for the first time all day. With only two specials to go, Holcomb claws back in front of Garcia by 3.86 seconds in the final just one enduro test, leaving the stage win to be decided between the Spaniard and the Brit by one last high-speed sprint around the Acerbis cross-test track.
Nathan Watson finishes 25.87 seconds from the podium in a well-deserved fourth place after fending off McDonald's for the last half of the stage. Andrea Verona loses almost a minute over the last two tests, but the reigning EGP champ holds on to finish solidly in third. Steve Holcomb fails to rise to the occasion in the finalist service cross test, crossing the line a frustrating 1.9 seconds short of the win. Joseph Garcia goes full gas in the final special to secure his third stage victory and first two-day sweep of the season. Here are the final results from stage two of the Grand Prix of Portugal in Valpassos. Now, let's take a look at the performances of today's Giro GP Top 10 out on the track. The big winner on the weekend is Red Bull KTM Racing's Joseph Garcia. We had a great fight. We are second, third in the Enduro GP class, closer to Andrea. Uh, Steve is still quite far, but we'll see. It's Garcia with gold plate holder Holcomb and reigning champ Verona on the EGP podium for the second time this weekend. I'm really, really, really looking forward to these two weekends. I'm feeling really good, really good on the bike, healthy. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I know Jed for a long while. It feels good for him to, or for me, that he's not super confident or comfortable with me coming from the back. So <laughs> don't sleep, I will, I'm coming for you. In the Galfer Junior and Giro World Championship, Fantic Mounted Riders, Albin Norman and Jed Etchells trade off first and second places on the weekend. The standings remain the same in Junior and Giro for the fourth round in a row, with Jed Etchells leading Alvin Norman and Jeremy Sido. In Youth and Giro, Kevin Cristino is back at the top of the timesheets, with Leo Joyon in second both days. Thibaut Girardon's best result is third on Saturday. Youth and Giro standings are the same as all season after Valpassos, with Italy's Cristino in front of the French duo Girodon and Joyon. It's been a fast and furious weekend of racing in Valpassos at the penultimate Portuguese Grand Prix before the paddock heads south for the Enduro GP season finale. After round six, Steve Holcomb has a 19-point lead over Andrea Verona, with Joseph Garcia mathematically still in the mix for the Enduro GP World Championship title. Of course, 
It's not just the riders in the hunt for points at each Grand Prix, the teams are too. Even with Freeman off form, Beta Factory maintains its lead in the manufacturer standings, with Gas Gas holding on to second and KTM slipstreaming in third. It's been a hot, sweaty, and exciting first leg in the Grand Prix of Portugal doubleheader, with the title races becoming well-defined in every category. Next stop, Santo André, Santiago do Cacem, for the final round of the 2023 Polo Duarte FIM and Giro GP World Championship. We'll see you there.